Hey yo, what's up guys? I'm back with another video and today I'm gonna basically be doing a complete overview of basically of all the guns, all of my mods and you know, all of you know the weapons and stuff that I've been using or let you know what my favorite weapons are and basically showing you all of my progression with a mirror, you know, thus far in the game. Cause I know DLC is coming out soon. I basically just wanna give a complete, you know, overview of what I have, or oh, even showing you what's you know what's in my bank space. So oh, I want to thank you for the uh, the support on the last two videos you guys gave me. I didn't even know I had that many views on it, and it's still growing. Thank you for all the new subscribers, all the new content, you know, not content, <laughs> comments. You know, everything is much appreciated. You know, always a big thank you. You know, you guys keep me motivated to keep doing this and keep growing. So you know, again, a big thank you. All right, so let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to show you guys is my build. And my build focused mainly around the, uh, the element of fire, which I love a lot right now. And I haven't really found a reason to you know, switch over. And so I'm just going through each slot and showing you everything that I have selected in case you want to, you know, copy it. You know, that's, I don't know. But some of you might have a better build. You know, it's up to you. You know, it's all preference and opinion. But if you have a better build, you know, don't be afraid to share it in the comment section if you want. And I'm not going to get into all the small, minute details because that will require 20 minutes just for this. And I got other things I want to cover. And I'm not going to hold you for that long. You know, it's going to be like a 10 minute or less video. On to the weapons. My top four favorite weapons is the Hostile Crossroad, the Cash Infused Brainstormer, the Lucian's Call, and the Double Penetrating Gratifying Laser Exploder. Ooh, dang. You know, I like using this because, like I said, it uses the fire element and once I use my action skill combined with this it does a ton of damage it does a lot especially against bosses and you know regular enemies I love the cash infused brainstorm because it chains it, it chains the electricity along the enemies so you're hitting a lot of enemies all at once instead of just one and it kills certain shields for bosses and everything and like like, like my last video I explained how this gun basically it just deletes the captain's hunt um shield like it's very very useful and I, I like using it a lot but also using um that shotgun one quick side note the next favorite shotgun will be this one though wonder kind of butcher it's like it's great it has a high rate of fire and i like it a lot and i encourage you all to use it if you have it or try to hold on to it if you can Moving on to the Lucian's Call, like, I've been having Lucian's Call a lot, and I noticed a lot of people was trying to get it or find ways to get it because it was, you know, a good gun, but I have been holding on to it a long time in my bank space without even using it, so, like, that's my bad. I should have been using it a long, you know, a while by now, but I haven't been collecting dust, but yeah, it's a great gun. I like using it a lot. I like that it has a cryo um, element to it, and the last one be the, you know, the demo penetrating, you know, the long name gun. And I like it because combined with my um, action skill, it also does a lot of damage. And I've been holding on to this one too for a while in my bank space that I never used. Because one day I was trying a different gun because I was bored and we didn't have any new content. And I picked it up and I was like, hey, you know, let's try this. And it melts. And I was using it a lot in uh, the new update, the, you know, the, the blood fest that just came out. And it was actually melting a lot of enemies. And I was, you know, surprised and satisfied. So I, you know. And made one of my favorite top four guns. But let's see if any other guns. Oh, of course, you can't forget the the little Yuta right here. Right. No, it's not that one. Right here. The molding crabby little Yuta. Now, up until this point in the game, before the Blood Fest, I haven't even, I never found this little Yuta. And it was weird to me because I never, I don't know, if, I don't want to say nobody else has it. Because I'm pretty sure other people do. But I had enough. As many times as I farmed Grave War and all the other bosses. I would get, you know, all these other, you know, little Yudas. But I would never get this one. And that was a little weird to me. And it has an item score of 581. So when I'm farming Grave War, I combine this one with the Vicious little Yuda. And I'm done within a matter of 15 seconds. Because, you know, the little Yuda is pretty much overpowered. As it should be. So, yeah. Those are two of my two favorite snipers, of course. And let's see if there's anything else. That's pretty much it. Okay, moving on to my shield. 
I got the flash charge recharger. I encourage everybody to use a recharger um, shield because once it's depleted, it automatically fills right back up. It fills back up completely. The next time it's depleted, it will take about 20 seconds before that the you know the flash recharge happens again. It is still recharged at the rate of you know 1,713. Uh oh, as it shows, but. It's a 20 second cooldown to get that flash recharge. Like it replenishes as soon as it's depleted. And I encourage all of you to use that because when you're fighting certain bosses and you're just fighting the hordes and hordes of enemies, that, that flash recharge, nine chances out of ten, will save your life most of the time. Alright. Um, right now, I've been trying a lot of mods because as you can see, I have a lot. But right now, I've been sticking with the, the Rope of Dough Breaker because it has that 10% Hyperion damage. And when you have that combined with the House of Crossroad, across, you know, combined with the elemental action scale, it does a ton of damage. Like, I can just walk around and hit fire and just melt enemies. It's, it's amazing. I love it. But if I'm just farming Grave Ward, or farming any other boss, uh, whenever the raid bosses come out, I've been using the Tim Spectral Phase Erker because of the 31% sniper rifle damage. And when you combine that with the Luyuta, it also does a ton of damage. And when you put in two Luyutas, you know, there's no such thing as a, a boss anymore because, you know, you are the boss, you know. It, he dies a lot, you know, he dies very quickly. And I like this one, I don't remember why. Uh, that might be a mistake, but these are my other mods, you know. And I have even more mods in my, um, what's, what's the word, bank space. But moving on, my favorite... A uh, grenade at the moment is a firestorm, and basically what it is, the firestorm, you throw it, and it rains down fireballs. So it does the initial damage, initial contact damage, and then it rains down fireballs right after it. So if you combine, like, my the, the max is 11, so if you combine a max of, of 11 uh, grenades thrown, and you got a constant storm of, you know, fireballs raining down. And that can also help out on the boss, too, because you just throw it up, and there's just constant elemental damage being done to the enemies. Especially when you have hordes and hordes of enemies that's constantly chasing you around. This is, you know, very useful. And the legendary artifact I have, I'm using on Lisa Dragon. I made a video on how to get this. So make sure you check that out. Um, basically, it gives me, it lets me ignite my enemies once I melee them. When it has a 100% chance to do that. So that's also great. So as you can see, my character is basically centered around the element of fire. So I encourage a lot of people to use this if you're not already using something that's, you know, maybe better. Or using something that you have that's, you know, your own personal preference. But if you wanted something new to try out, I encourage you to try out this. Um, the first, if, if you have an Amera build and you're on Xbox, I want you to comment your, you know, your gamer tag. And comment your gamer tag. And whatever, you know, mod you want out of these ones right here. And, you know, the two lucky people that I choose, if you're on Xbox, I'll get it to you as soon as possible. But I'm also going to show you the ones I have in my bank space. <clears throat> but, yeah, if you was wondering what um, camo I was using, I'm using an ink and kill one. Uh, I like it a lot. It almost looks like, kind of like graffiti, and it looks real nice on all the um, weapons. Hmm, let's see. What else? What else? What else? Oh, this is my Guardian rank. Okay. I use most of my Guardian rank tokens on the Enforcer and the Hunter. Because what I wanted to do is I wanted to I wanted to increase that luck and rare drop rate as much as possible. Because I know as a game go on, there are gonna be more and more drops of different, you know, weapon types and mods, and I wanna have the best chance possible of actually you know, picking those up and having it dropping from the uh, bosses. So what I did was I, I tried to put that up as much as possible. But warning, as you continue to add the tokens, it increases by like like 0.01%. So it'll go from 14.96 to 14.97. It, increase, it, it, it slows down drastically. But for me, I wanted that luck, you know, chance all the way up because nothing is more aggravating than farming the same boss 100 times. And then having what you want drop once, you know, it's time consuming. Then for my enforcer side, I wanted to get that in critical. I wanted to get that critical damage up as much as possible, because when you combine the critical damage with the elemental damage with the mud, you know, it starts stacking upon. You know, especially if you're fighting bosses. So I feel like getting that critical damage up as much as possible, especially with using a little Yuta, 
it would be, you know, it would be great. And I didn't really use too much for the survival. Because I feel like for the fight for your life, you know, duration and all that. Because the way my character, the way my Vault Hunter is, is built, it, I rarely die. Unless I just slip and fall off the map, which has happened more times than I can, you know, admit, which is sad. But I don't, I rarely die because of how much damage I be doing. Even if I get knocked, I'm able to kill an enemy, you know, as fast as I get down because that's how much damage I'm actually putting out. But yeah, I think that's pretty much it. But then again, this is by hands down my favorite gun in the game, like literally. So if you guys have it, I encourage you to pick it up. I know there's habit in different elements, but even like I said, I'm not sitting around fire, so I like, you know, the fire the best. Um, if anybody want to see my trinkets, these are all the trinkets I have. Yeah, oh, and I have also have 26 um, gold keys. Now, if you're wondering, some of you might know this, but if you don't, if you're wondering, uh, if you have a Twitter account, make sure you, make sure you follow Randy Pitchford on Twitter or at Duval Magic, it should be showing up now because he tweets out when there's you know a vault key, a vault key code available, and you just go to shift.com, you put it in, you make sure you know your shift account is linked to your either your PC account, your Xbox, or your PSN, and then you know you put the code in, and then you redeem it, and then the next time you come into the game, what you want to do is you want to hit you know start, go to your social, and go to your mailbox, and it should show up right there. So doing this, as you can see, I have 26 gold keys. I'm going to do a big, you know, chest opening video later when there's a lot more legendaries in the game. You know, I don't want to waste 26 gold keys on weapons that I've already picked up a thousand times from, let's say, Grave Ward or, you know, Tyrene or Troy, all of them. So I'm going to wait and hold on to them and do a big, big, you know, um, chest opening later. So that'll be good for content. That's about it. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what I have in my vault space. Again, if you have a Mara build or if you see another mod that you might want. Because a lot of these mods I don't use. So if you see a mod that you want, you know, be sure to, you know, type your name, like the, um, your gamer tag in the comment section and whatever your favorite mod is. And if I have it, I'm going to pick two lucky people and I'm going to get it to you as soon as possible. So yeah, starting right here, I'm gonna just go slow so everybody can get a good look at you know what I have. Some of them are uh, duplicates because I pick up so many. I also have a video on how I, you know accumulated these so fast. So make sure you know check that video out too as well. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. So if you know you enjoy it or you like the content, you know, please leave a like, comment, subscribe if you're new. Don't forget to turn on the post notifications and. I appreciate you for being to this part of the video, and I'm a peace out till the next one. Catch y'all later.